spiritual awakening a choice? And here's the thing. Spiritual awakening isn't necessarily a choice, and I can tell you from personal experience. It's really just, you know, like when you know how 2 plus 2 equals 4, you can't unknow that 2 plus 2 equals 4. I mean, I guess you could, but it would be pretty difficult, and it would be a similar type of thing. So, is spiritual awakening a choice? No. Um, is, the, is the idea that you're going to take the spiritual path after you have spiritual awakening a choice? Yes. Because you have choice. Now, here's the thing. Just because you have choice doesn't mean that you're going to get the outcome you want. Okay? If you don't, if, if you're spiritually awake, and I got a little gnats, nah, it's nat time, I guess. But anyway, um, if you're spiritually awake, then you know, okay? what the right path and the wrong path is. And you, but you may still take the wrong path. Why would people do that? Well, it's pretty easy. Because what, when you become spiritually awake, then you realize that you have this ego construct. Uh, and basically what I mean by that is it's your personal beliefs of who you are. It's your personal beliefs of what you need in order to be you. It's a, your, the beliefs of all those people in your environment projected on you, who you are, and what they expect of you. And so um, it, all of these things basically make your ego construct. Now when you become awake, what happens is you realize and you see that ego construct. And then you also realize that there's another you. And that you is the one that you forgot when you were a little child. It's the one that had all those dreams and believed in, you know, true love and, and believed in the, the fact that the universe supported you. And well, as the ego took over, it, it separated you from all of that. And so when you become awake, you become awake, meaning you see what has been deceiving you is your ego. And the ego is a construct. And the true you is the one that's been watching the whole time. And so once you're awake, no, it's not really a choice. But you can take the wrong path because you feel the pressure of the ego and all of the people around you that are projecting that ego on you. And you can continue on the path not in alignment with yourself. Now what happens when you do that is what a lot of people call tower moments. And so what happens is the universe is all in support of your growth. And so when you defy growth, then the universe is going to start providing you a push, we'll call it. Okay, and a lot of people will confuse this with, you know, uh, karma and all this kind of stuff. But ultimately, it's the universe pushing you towards the path in which you ultimately really want to go. It's your true path. It's your, your path, not the path that was constructed by this ego. And so uh, what will happen is the ego will start to deteriorate because you realize it's not really true to you. And slowly you become able to have your own voice. You know, your voice comes in and you start to actually speak that truth. And when that happens, that's when transformation happens. Now, it can be painful because what happens is you find that your tribe that was in this ego um, wasn't really your tribe. There, there was probably a few people in there that will stick with you and that will, that will see, see that you're actually growing and blossoming. But a lot of them will be offended because you no longer conform to this ego, you know, that they have projected on you. So I hope that answers the question. If you don't follow the path, you're going to get some, you're going to have tower moments, um, you're going to have challenges that are going to push you towards the path because the universe loves you and supports you. And they want you to have your desire, which is tr the true you, the one that some of you are denying because you're like, well, all these people have these expectations of me. Well, at the end of your life, do you want to live by other people's expectations? You want to go, hey, you know what? I, I live by everybody's expectations. Or do you want to go, I lived the life that was true to my heart and soul, and I, and I fulfilled my destiny. And so give that a little thought.